Good morning. I'm, my name is Dale Moss. I've uh, had this hobby and interest in detailing uh, all cars for more than 50 years. My experience has been dealing with Concord cars. They have a uniqueness in the fact that they are all in, in very good shape, and generally speaking. And so it, the, the first step of any detailing uh, would be to assess the condition of the car. So doing a complete walk around and determining even before washing the car what would be needed in terms of uh, each step. Some people start with the top-down method. Uh, I prefer to, to clean the interiors first, assess the leather, the carpeting, and see that that is cleaned properly and then uh, taking the car uh, into the washing phase of detailing the engine and then cleaning the exterior, the paint, and lastly the chrome. Uh, sometimes I'll spend uh, an hour per wheel just doing wire wheels on a car, which requires uh, a great deal of patience and time to make the chrome and every spoke uh, to perfection. What I've found with some paints, that there is a great difference in, uh, from a single stage paint to a, uh, a paint that has a clear coat and some will require uh, wet sanding to remove swirl marks and damage that people have done with improper washing. And that's where I find that most of the damage uh, done to even Concord cars is because they're not washed properly. Uh, typically, uh, some people use a two bucket method where they're taking the, the, the cleaning, the soap, or whatever they're using for the cleaning method and then they they do a section and then dip it in clean water to rinse the dirt as not to carry it around the car. So I just use common sense and that's to do the clean parts first, the roof, the, the hood, and the top of the trunk. And then to go down to the belt line on the sides and, and to do the, the rear of the section which has, it's, it, you create a low pressure area behind your car when you're driving and you tend to get all the grit and sand which will scratch the paint. So the, the rear bumper and trunk area are, are the last areas that I do. And then onto the wheels, of course. So the, um, what I've found with some paints, they require uh, sanding, uh, light sanding to remove marks, and then others would require buffing with different forms of compound. I typically use a German product called Menzerna which has a very fine abrasive and is not uh, aggressive because these cars, the Concorde cars, are typically uh, painted to perfection. So we want to be careful as not to do any damage with using harsh compounds. Uh, and then the other step that I use that is somewhat unique is to use a paint sealant rather than just a wax. And by applying that paint sealant, sealant and allowing to dry for 24 hours, it gives a, a more complete job and uh, then the other key and very important key is from the washing to the drying to the waxing and buffing you want to use microfiber products whether it's microfiber uh, towels to uh, wash or pad to wash with but they have to be segregated once you've used them uh, if you include them with terry towels or other types of cloth you'll find that they'll pick up the lint and then the microfiber towels will scratch the paint as well. So it's very important to segregate microfiber once it's been used. Uh, again, the steps of taking the full evaluation of the car, just walking around and assessing what types of materials would be needed, what type of cleaning, uh, the undercarriage of the car, and, and some Concord judging also needs to be addressed. So the steps are, again, taking the interior, cleaning that, and then moving on to the engine compartment, the trunk areas, uh, and then on to the exterior of the car with the washing and, uh, and, and preparing it to be uh, fully waxed and detailed. <clears throat> and that's pretty much the system that I use. Uh, 